I've been working on it all week. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure. I want to give you something as a thank you. I'm glad. First things first, butter and sugar friends. Let's beat this bad boy until it's as fluffy as a Santa's beard after a good milk and cookie break. Eggs go in next, crackle crackle. Now for the flurry magic. Don't forget the baking powder and a pinch of salt. Gotta keep the flavors balanced. Like balancing on Santa's sleigh, right? Now, a splash of milk and a drizzle of vanilla. Mix, 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 until this batter is smoother than a reindeer's glide across the moonlit sky. And poof, magic happens. We split this beauty into two bowls because one cake just isn't enough Christmas cheer to go around. Of course, the colors of Christmas, red and green. And then we pour it into the molds. Now, let's put these in the oven and let the magic happen. Roll it out flat, smooth as Santa's landing on a snowy roof. Now it's time to get creative with the frosting. We're going to stack the layers, alternating between red and green. Then, we'll use a thin layer of chocolate buttercream frosting to cover the entire cake. This will give it a smooth, velvety finish and help the fondant stick. Now, frosting time. Let's spread this brown fondant blanket over the cakes, smooth as a winter wonderland. For some extra pizzazz, we'll add a rainbow fondant border, like a gingerbread fence around a candy cane forest. Leaves of green fondant will climb up the sides and on top. A jolly Santa in a twinkling Christmas tree made of fondant magic. And there you have it. A brown frosted masterpiece, ready to spread Christmas cheer like hot cocoa on a snowy day. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Thank you.